Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel 444. My name is Natalie. I'm reading for the sign of Libra right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Happy birthday, Libra. Uh, keep in mind, this is just a general reading, okay? So this may or may not resonate with all of you. Also, keep in mind, energies can be reversed. So I could be speaking about you or the cross watcher. Check your birth charts and personal readings. The information about that will be in the description box below. All right. Let's see. So, so far we have you deserve love, you are lovable, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Someone wants to, um, yeah, we have trust at the bottom. Someone wants to express something to you, Libra. They want to express something that maybe they haven't expressed to you before yet. They want to tell you something. I'm feeling my heart chakra open up with you guys. Someone is opening up their heart chakra. And they're going to express some things here. Um, they want to talk to you. Let's see. Can we talk for a minute? Mm -hmm. Action. Taking action. Someone's going to come forward. Yeah, power at the bottom. They're going to come forward and they're going to take action. They're going to talk to you. They're going to say that you deserve love. They're going to give you everything that you deserve. I don't think that you trust this though. You just don't trust it. Spirit is trying to get you to trust the situation, right? Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other and you are lovable. So I really think that this person is going to start giving you what you deserve. You know, whoever you're thinking about, Libra. All right, let's get some energy for Libra and their person. What do we have for Libra? And their person. What do we have for the sign of Libra and their person right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was appropriate to use the um, Night Maker for Christmas deck. I got it off of Amazon. So I thought it was pretty neat. These are some nice cards. We have the Tower here, Scorpio energy. We have the Chariot, Cancer. We have the Hermit here, Virgo, Three of Swords, the Devil, Capricorn, the Empress, Libra Taurus, Page of Wands, and then we have the Nine of Presents. So, at the bottom we have the Knight of Wands. So, there's a Tower moment here. I feel like someone right now is forced to be single here. Or maybe, maybe they didn't expect someone to want to be single. I feel like this is what happened here, Libra. I'm getting the vibe of someone who didn't expect you to want to be single. They wanted you to chase them, right? Um, but you're not that. You're, you're very much taken care of. Um, you don't need this person. Oh my goodness. But they, they feel like you need them or like... They're upset that you're not chasing them or something like that. Tell me about the tower here for Libra. Why is the tower here for Libra? So we have the world card here. Yeah, cycle has closed out fixed energy here. Yeah, the cycle has closed out for a new cycle to begin. This person was to... Um, they want to start a new cycle with you, but they're just so heartbroken. They feel alone right now. Um, hold on. They're heartbroken. They feel alone, but you're you're just like, you see this person as toxic. Tell me about the chariot here for Libra. The chariot here for Libra. So you have the two of cups. Libra, you could be moving on to someone else. That That's very possible. I see it happening with the Page of Wands here. Um, moving on to someone else to third party energy, but nah. I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with them coming forward to you. For some of you, you could be moving on, but I don't think you like this person that you moved on to. You're just moving on because <sighs> Let's just put it this way. You, you're you attracting a lot of people right now. And you're just exploring your options. That's what I'm getting. 
you're very optimistic about moving on. Tell me about the Hermit here for Libra. You separated yourself. Yeah, you're very optimistic. You're like, leave me alone. I got to start something new. I got to move on. I got to, if I got to start from scratch, I will. We have the Nine of Cups here with the Emperor and the Nine of Wands here. Someone is moving on to wish fulfillment and taking control. Okay. Tell me about the Nine of Presents here for Libra. Nine of Presents for Libra. We have the Hierophant here. Someone is um, elevating spiritually. I'm also hearing that they want commitment with you. But someone has their guard up. I'm hearing that someone is elevating spiritually though and are starting to take control of everything and getting everything that they wish for. But they want to reconcile here, but they feel like you don't want to and that puts them in some anxiety here because you're you're not giving them any attention. You're sort of getting your own attention elsewhere. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Libra. Page of Wands for Libra. There's the Page of Wands here for Libra. I'll take it. We have the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. I feel like it's like you're trying to be optimistic about um, a heartbreak that happened to you. You're trying to be really optimistic here. Yes, this person has hurt you, but you're like, you're just focusing on your craft. You're, you're trying to, um, yeah, with this energy right here, Three of Swords, Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You're trying to be very optimistic about this heartbreak that happened to you. Something that has hurt you. Um, it's like you're acting like it didn't even happen. This is how this person sees you. It, it could very much have hurt you. But this person sees you as you don't care. You're you're distracted. Tell me about the Three of Needles for Libra. Three of Needles for Libra. We have Judgment here. There was a judgment call that was being made. This person wants to come back in and reconcile. But the wheel turned and you walked away. I'm hearing something about like they have to come in before time is up. I feel like this person believes that you're going to find someone else. Tell me about the devil here for Libra. What's the devil here? Temperance. Interesting because temperance always outweighs the devil. Ace of Pentacles, the full nine of swords, six of wands. This person is a little bit um, anxious about you moving on to someone else. Uh, that's what I. That's how I see it. You're really. I'm getting something like. This toxic energy was in this relationship, right? And they expected you to maybe chase them or they expected you to maybe like... They really expected you to be bothered by this devil energy. And maybe you were bothered by it before, but now you're just not bothered by it anymore. And you're starting to um, be patient with yourself and be very... It's like you're bat battling your own demons right now and you're doing a very good job of it. And they're wondering how you're doing it. That's what I'm getting. They're trying to figure out how you're doing this. Why is the Empress here for Libra? Empress for Libra. So we have the Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool card. This person realizes that there could be some conflict and competition with you here. Um, because they probably see you um, taking a leap of faith to something brand new. You could have maybe started a job. Or maybe like there's just some new things coming in when it comes to money. Um, a new stable beginning. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, there could be a lot of people involved. Like maybe fighting over you. We have the Nine of Swords and the, yeah, Six of... You're over this. You walked away from them. And that's why they're like in some anxiety here. Like I, I keep hearing things like they can't sleep. Or maybe they just feel like they... They just don't want to lose you. All right, Libra. Let's get some messages for Libra, please. <clears throat> what do we have for Libra? <clears throat> what do 
we have for the sign of Libra? Someone rising in Venus signs. What do we have for Libra, please? Someone rising in Venus signs. I'm trying to get three cards, but so far we have a new romantic cycle begins. I really think they're going to rush in here. I really think that this person is, everyone sees this, but you don't. Libra, you have a lot of people around you that want to um, have a, a new romantic cycle with you. <clears throat> what else? Alright, so at the bottom we have, look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. And then we have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. I said you guys are going to be moving on to something here. If you keep with that positive attitude here, look at the bigger picture. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you desire. And that's what's going to force this person to come in. It's going to like manifest this person to come in. Or it's going to manifest a new person to come in for you, Libra depending on how this resonates for you, okay? All right, Libra, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.